Dan Bedandi for TruthRadioShow.com. In today's discussion, we're going to discuss, was Peter the first pope? Now, uh, I'm not here to bash religions. And what I'm going to state right now, though, is all religions. I don't care what you are, Catholic, Episcopal, Evangelist, whatever. You all fall short because there is no religion with God. God's not religion. The Bible's not religion. So I'll make that clear right now. So I'm not sitting here bashing Catholics. People say, oh, this guy's a Catholic hater. Uh, I'm going to state right now, I was born and raised a Catholic. I've been through the catechism, the first communion, the whole nine yards. So I know what I'm talking about and where I'm coming from. Okay, but the thing is, this is where you got to question things, okay? We were taught, well, I'm not a Catholic no more. I'm not of any religion. I'm of the belief of God only. But um, we were taught in Catholicism that Peter was the first pope. They show us doctrines, his, you know, so-called historical doctrines that, well, look, it's proof right there. Because it comes from Rome that Peter was the first pope. Oh, where's it say in the Bible though? Oh, look right here, look. It says, um, Jesus said, Peter, you are the rock of the church. So automatically assuming the church, which means the church, there's no other church but the church, automatically assuming that you know Jesus was talking about the Catholic church when he said the church. First of all, there was no Catholic church back then. Even when Peter walked the earth, there was no Catholic church back then. So, question, how was Peter the first pope? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's backed up, and where? Show me historical doctrine that Peter was the first pope. There is none. Just because you got a chart that says Peter was the first pope, and he is, and so, there's no evidence of Peter being the first pope. And second of all, that would be a direct, contro uh, direct controversy of what God speak teaches of. And um, just so much information, I'm trying to get it out here. Um, but I mean, it's, it's in contrary to what God speaks. You know, why would, first of all, let's, back then, the Church of Rome, okay, when Jesus walked the earth, and when Peter was on the earth, yeah, the Church of Rome was not called Catholicism. The Church of Rome was a pure pagan church. For thousands of years, whenever Rome exists, I should say, it, it was a pagan church. All right? So, that being established, how would Peter be the first pope? Again, I debate Catholics all the time. Again, they go, oh, right here. Jesus says, you, Peter, you are the rock of the church. But the church is not the Catholic church. Because there was no Catholic church at that time. So the church that Jesus is talking about, the church is the believers. Not a religion, not an establishment, okay? Not a building, not a society or any fraternity headed by a uh, couple of people, then the ultimate people call the Pope, whatever. It's not, okay? The church that Jesus talks about is the people. We the people who believe in him, who follow him, who accept the blood of the Lamb to forgive our sins. That is the church, okay? Not the Catholic church. The Catholic church did not come into existence, this is historically proven, until Constantine. Constantine claimed, okay, that he seen crosses in the sky to help them win this great battle in, uh, to take over Rome that gave him the victory, and he claimed to be converted by uh, Christianity. Because, and I'll tell you why, not because it was true or not. No, he did not he see crosses in the sky. They were not crosses of God, okay? First of all, symbolism's forbidden by God in the first place. But the crosses he seen were crosses of Baal. Right, B-A-L is Baal worship, and uh, that's a whole history altogether. But the thing is, Constantine was pure pagan. Constantine was in the occult, okay? He claimed this because Rome was the central command station of all the world's religion. When uh, Jesus came, after he, gone, he went, Peter was spreading the gospel. That's why he was the rock of the church, the church of Jesus, not the Catholic church. He was in charge, he was put in charge to spread the gospel throughout the planet. That's what he was. He wasn't the rock of the Catholic Church. Uh, Rome lost control of the religious, being a religious dominant leader. So when Constantine, he had to make this claim to gain, because the thing is, when you get to gain control of people, you need to gain control of their, um, their dogma, their religious belief. So he made this claim, got people starting to come back into the, the Church of Rome and called it Catholicism. He's the one that branded it Catholicism, which means universal church. That's why... Uh, you know, they celebrate Christmas on a pagan holiday. They celebrate Easter on a pagan holiday. The holidays always stayed the same for the Roman church, the pagan church. They just slept, uh, they just painted it with Christianity. That's all it is. And in the, the, the actuality, none of these holidays have anything to do with Christ in the first place. 
It's just a disguise, uh, basically the same holiday with a new name just for a cover. That's all it is. But anyway, they had to do this to gain control of the world, to say we're, we're going to be the dominant religion leaders of the world, which they did become. Now people say, oh, uh, yeah, well, we, you know, we, we preserve Christianity in the Bible. No, you didn't. Because first of all, how about the 600-year Inquisition? Who killed Christians? Who killed Puritans? Who killed the Jews? Now, I know atheists say all oh, Christians killed uh, thousands of people over the Inquisition. No, it wasn't Christians. Because it was Christians that were getting killed. There was Puritans that were getting killed. There was Jews getting uh, killed. And people like uh, Charles Tinsdale, uh, Martin Luther, John Wycliffe, all being persecuted for what? Because they were pushing the Bible in English, and they had a Bible and reading it on their own. Because the Catholic Church did not want anyone to have a Bible. They didn't want to say, they, this way they could say, hey, look, the Bible says um, you have to give us uh, $99 out of every $100 you have. And nobody else could read the Bible, so who's going to challenge it? That's why Rome had full control of the world's religions. And when it started going again... When it, started, uh, when it started breaking off again, when people started saying, hey, I want to read the Bible on my own. When people were turning it into English, Rome was starting to lose control again. So during the 600-year Inquisition, the Roman Catholic Church and the Knights Templar, okay, these people were praised as godly organizations, godly uh, manners and all that. They were killing millions. Over the 600 years, millions of Christians, Jews, and Puritans for possessing the Bible, especially those who were transforming it into English. So now you gotta ask yourself, uh, you know, I'm not diverting off the subject because you gotta, it goes right back to Peter. Why would Jesus endorse, just say the Catholic Church did exist then, which it didn't, and it's, rec it's on record that you know, Constantine's the one who created Catholicism. So why would Jesus, in contrary to everything he didn't say, would say, all right, Peter, you're gonna be the rock of the Catholic Church? That means the Catholic Church is everybody's gonna uh, call you Holy Father. Because if you're the, you're the Pope, so we're going to call you Holy Father, come to you from sins and everything else. No, that's not what Jesus said. Matthew, you, know, you don't call any man upon the earth your father. You don't confess your sins to anybody. You don't use repetitive prayer. You don't pray to the Queen of Heaven. Mary, she was a blessed mother, yes, but she's not to be worshipped or prayed to. She's not a holy figure. There's only one holy, that's it. Not the Pope, not Mary, but not any of the saints, okay? There's only one that's holy, and that's God himself. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. That's the only one that's holy, okay? But why would Jesus endorse Peter to say, all right, you've got to take the lead of a uh, pagan church? Oh, I got proof. Oh, Jesus says you're the rock of the church. Again, it's not... The church, okay, is not referring to the Catholic church, okay? It's referring to the church of Jesus Christ. And the Catholic church is not the church of Jesus Christ, nor any other religion. So again, you know, Peter had nothing to do with the Catholic church. Because simply, historically proven, that the Catholic church did not come into existence until Constantine. And that's on record. So whatever doctrines you have from your uh, priest or your pope or whoever, the Vatican, they're false doctrines. History proves it and the Bible proves that Peter and Jesus had nothing to do with the Catholic Church. So you can throw all the misquotes all you want, okay? But again, when you throw a verse out, read the whole verse in its context, and do the whole, the whole uh, chapter and so. And again, the Bible and history both prove that Peter was not the first pope. It was Constantine. So do your history, do your homework, and know, again, Peter was not the first pope. And this is Dan Bedondi for TruthRadioShow.com.